So I think it goes without saying the professionals in my mom's life aren't going to care now. And I'm not saying they're not going to care about her. I'm saying what you guys know. They're not going to care about my fight to to keep her out of a mental hospital. To keep her from winding up a ward of the state and in a nursing home or whatnot, you know? Not when she went by, was deceiving me and not taking her meds. I, I went to bat for her. I fought. I, I cried. I said, you know, this is not helping her winding up in these mental hospitals. I, I didn't want her to go back to the therapist and MP because I knew she had been released from that last mental hospital in not perfect condition. And I was afraid that, justifiably, that she went back to these professionals and they would just throw her right back in another mental hospital. And it's not like I could plead with them because they they're not in communication with me. But her primary care physician was awesome. I met him for the first time. He was agreed with me on everything. We're going to do everything in our power to help your mom. You know, that's what he decided. That's what we all decided. And in the end, she fucked it all up for herself by not taking her meds. I can't believe it. I don't even want to leave the house. Seriously. Of course I have to leave the house to take him. I have to leave the house to take you. Otherwise I wouldn't even have to leave the house. I have enough food here. I could survive. Just got another 30 waters. Sucked up on water because I don't have a car, so no, I wanted to scare of Angel. Took me to get over his nails done and also so I could get water. She jokes, she's like, people are probably thinking you're really thirsty. Like, oh, people know I don't have a car. You know, stock up on water, I don't have to worry about it. Don't want to drink fucking tap water. That I think spring water is just absolutely, you know, but I still think it's better than tap in the end. you doing, huh? Love you. Yeah, I was gonna get shit face and I'm like, what's the point? Everything comes down to can't stand to be alone. Joe doesn't mind being alone. I cannot stand being alone. Can't stand it. Literally cannot stand it. Of course, all those years with Donald. Treating me badly, you may as well have been alone, you know what I mean?
just a total fuck up, total loser in this life. I want to say to that kid, oh, I used to be filled with such hope when I was your age and a little older, an obscene amount of hope, all gone now, all gone now, nothing left in its wake but just endless pain. Endless pain. Hey people, you know now they're not gonna, you know, we all went to bat for my mom. Keep her out of the mental hospital, you know, and, and in the end, she fucked it up for herself for not taking her meds. Fucked it up for herself not taking her meds. You guys have never heard me say this before because it hasn't happened, you know? The thing is, I'm so worried about her. That's Selena. I was so worried about my mom. Terrified she had high blood sugar, diabetes, and stuff, whatever, from eating so many sweets when she used to never eat sweets at all, or very rarely, and stuff, whatever. In the end, everything came out negative, except the blood results for the Depakote showed that she wasn't taking her Depakote. And once they get a urine sample, We'll see if that shows she wasn't taking the other meds. Maybe she was taking the other meds, it's just not the Depakote. Maybe she's noticing the Depakote given her the side effects like before. The, you know, the shaking, the, the tr trembling in the hands or whatnot. She was showing that. In the end, she can't accept that she's the age that she is. She can't accept it. And she's aware of the, what the meds are doing to her. Because as Lena said, she'd be better off not aware. But she is aware, and, that, and she's crying, you know? She was telling the ambulance people, but the first responders, whatever, and the dip of, and the people in the hospital, you know, the psychiatrists. I'm, I'm, I've been sad because of listening to music. But then she turned around and said, I listen to Will Nelson, and she says, it makes me feel happy, it makes me feel loved. That's not... How is that equating to you crying all the time? It's not. She'll tell me the music makes her sad, but I knew it was more than that. What I didn't imagine, honestly, was that she could po wasn't taking her meds and intentionally deceiving me.
No, I didn't imagine that, people. Believe me, I was in shock when they said that to me. And then I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know. I don't sit there and guard her. I'm a trust that she's taking him and she doesn't. Are you fucking kidding me? Blood test doesn't lie. She's supposed to be at 50 to 100 for therapeutic level of Depakote. And she was at in the teens, the low teens. And that's what was bringing this on. It was only going to get worse. She was turning into a friggin' like crying all the time and 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 only wanted to sleep or just curl up in her bed did I ever imagine in a million years that she wasn't taking her meds no because I trust her I trust her I see the meds gone from the pill container I understand I set them all up for her I trust her Again, I don't know how long it would take to not be taking them, that it would, that usually it builds up in your system, but maybe it wasn't that high to begin with or something, so maybe it would only take a couple of days if we're not taking them, you know? I don't know. I thought I could trust her. Obviously, I thought I could. And that's wrong. That's sad. And the reason I thought I could trust her is because she's terrified of going in the mental hospitals and she's going to stop taking her meds. Damned if she doesn't, damned if she doesn't, that's why. She's probably noticing what they're doing to her. And if she doesn't take them, look what happens. Can't win, you know. Can't fucking win, damned if 